Hello everyone, uh, here is a brief video announcement for the upcoming tour that I'm making down the east coast of North America. So uh, for those of you who haven't heard about it, this next month of June 2014, I will be traveling mostly by bus and mostly with a companion uh, from city to city a total of six stops and I will be teaching and talking and meeting with people who have been following me on the internet for the most part so the idea came up um, partly because my mother lives in Florida and that's where I'll be ending up but mostly uh, because of the number of people in North America who have uh, contacted me trying to make some connection with a teacher and with the meditation practice and of course living in Canada or in Asia as I have for a lot of the time I've been a monk it's hard to reach everyone and it's hard to provide a place where people can or an opportunity for people to come to meet with us meet with the teacher so I thought why not take a trip and see as many people as I can now it's obviously not going to um, help the majority of people but it's I think a small step in the right direction and this year it's sort of an experiment so um, I'd like to take this opportunity to go through the places that I'll be staying and just give a few words about each so you can have an idea of what will be going on there. I'm not entirely uh, in the know about how things stand for each of these spots. I've left it very much up to the coordinators, but here is what I do know know that I will be flying into Boston, Massachusetts from Toronto, Ontario on the ninth on the ninth of June, arriving in Boston at just after noon, just after twelve noon, and then traveling to Worc Worcester, I don't Worcester, I don't know how you say it. W O R C E S T E R Massachusetts. And staying at Assumption College. Um with some Catholic monks I was invited there I think one of the first invitations I got when this idea came up was from a Catholic priest or no Catholic monk I'm not sure now I think he's a monk actually yes a Catholic monk and um, with with the um, thought that his brethren would be interested in in this sort of thing so It'll be an interesting stay. I'll be staying there for three nights. And he said they have many acres of land and lots of room for us to pitch tents, which we may do, or we may stay in rooms there, I'm not sure. Staying there for three nights until the 12th. And then on the 12th, we take a bus to Long Island, New York. And we'll be staying at the Sri Lankan monastery there, which is called the Long Island Buddhist Meditation Center. I think there's another name for it as well, like the Long Island Vihara or something like that. But part of it is the Buddhist Meditation Center with Venerable Nanda Thera. Nanda Thera is a monk I know from Winnipeg. I met him at least once, I think twice, and I gave him one of my old video cameras. So we're uh, acquaintances, we're friends. We don't know each other very well, but they were happy to have me. So I'll be staying in a Sri Lankan monastery in Long Island. It's in Port Jefferson. Uh, now, one thing I should note before you all start uh, clamoring for details is that the details of this entire trip are actually on the website at jarika.sirimangalo.org and I'll put a link in the description to this video. So no need to worry about that. Um, but the Long Island Buddhist Meditation Center where I'll be staying in, in Port Jefferson 
and then staying there three nights again until the 15th and then on the 15th traveling to Washington DC to stay at a Thai monastery it's a Thai monastery I think no I think I haven't been to I've been to Washington DC we took a road trip there many years ago um, we drove down and got in a car accident I was the navigator in the passenger seat and we got in a car accident right in front of the White House which was quite an experience. This hopefully will be more uh, subdued trip, uh, more meditative. Be staying at Wat Tama Prati, which is the Thai monastery. Again, the link should be on the website. If not, I'll put it there before I upload this video. Make sure all this is on there. Again, three nights there, and then on the nineteenth, on the eighteenth traveling to South Carolina and I believe it's an overnight bus trip so leaving in the afternoon on the 18th arriving in Greenville early in the morning on the 19th of June staying there until the 21st now that might change because the 21st is a holiday and um, no probably I'll stay probably I'll have to leave on the 21st Yes, well, we'll see anyway. The 21st, 19th to 21st, staying at uh, Carolina Buddhist Vihara, which has a bhikkhuni, a female monk from Sri Lanka, Venerable Sudinna, who I've never met, but we've now corresponded over the uh, internet. And it sounds like they, they are quite welcoming, so that's great, much appreciated. Probably pitching tents again there. Uh, two nights, and then on the 21st, heading to Atlanta, Georgia, actually Johns Creek, which I understand is just north of Atlanta. And we'll be staying in Atlanta for again for two nights at a private residence. And then on the 23rd, heading to heading to Tampa, Florida. And again, I think it's an overnight trip. And then I'll be staying in uh, Dunedin with my mother and teaching in Tampa for six nights. And on the 30th of June, I fly back to Canada. So, uh, And I'll be teaching, I think, at University of South Florida, USF, and the Florida Buddhist Vihara, which I think is maybe wasn't confirmed last I heard, but... I'm assuming I'm thinking that's where I'll be teaching. Anyway, the whole time throughout this, I'll be available to meet with people. That's probably something I'm going to look forward to the most. There'll probably be formal talks, but um, at the very least, I will be meeting with people, and I'll have time to talk about meditation, give advice, pass on information and knowledge that I've gained and and received myself. And so uh, hopefully this will be a start of something, and maybe next year I'll go down the West Coast or take longer, maybe I'll take two months next year to travel around North America, we'll see. Anyway, so this is an announcement, thought I'd let everyone know, and I hope that's um, useful for some people, that they're able to connect with us. Again, go to the website, it's in the, the link, it's in the, in the description, and... Uh, or maybe I'll just post the whole, uh, the whole um, itinerary in the description. But either way, it's there somewhere. So hope to see you all there, and uh, um, I'll be trying to stay online as much as possible, or as as it permits, as we travel, because I think there's Wi-Fi on the buses, and so at the very least we can I can post pictures and blogs or whatever, try to record as much as I can. I probably won't bring a camera, but maybe have a phone camera or at least recording audio anyway, we'll see. Probably some things will get recorded. Uh, anyway, that's all, so um, lots of good stuff. Wishing you all the best and uh, be well.